Hello and welcome to another Vivaldi System Strike Cleaning Software tutorial. I'm Francisco and in this video I'm going to do an overview of the customer management screen used all throughout the program. Uh, by the end of this video you should have some knowledge of the different tabs used uh, in the window. Okay, so let's load up Vivaldi so that we have the main menu up and running. Okay, to get to the customer management screen there are many different ways. Uh, when you're about to write a ticket uh, you can add a new customer using this button right here or you can go to the customer search window and right click on a specific customer such as um, April Brody and then go down to where it says edit selected customer which should take you to the uh, customer management screen in fact these could be accessed in the right ticket um, window or pickup ticket from the main menu um, you also have the ability to remove customers from any of the customer search windows inside the program. Uh, you can right, uh, right click on the specific customer um, and then go down to where it says remove customer. Um, this will permanently delete the customer from the database even if you've written a ticket that has not been picked up. So once I click this button it will delete Thomas Adams from the entire system so there is no way you could um, access them anymore so even if you were to somehow um, create a new customer all these tickets won't show up so be careful about that um, another way to access the customer management screen is to click on customers here at the main menu then select the customer by clicking on them and uh, clicking on select or double clicking on the customer and it will send you to the customer management window. So let's click on Abel Brody, my test customer, and this will send you to the customer management window. The customer window stores all the information about the customer. The top half, the line to button here, all the way up, um, is dedicated for the customer information, which includes the phone number, which is the account number. Uh, the address, other information, including their email address. Um, the bottom half, uh, which includes six tabs right along here, um, is dedicated for special features to assign to that customer. The first tab is the route and delivery um, information. This tab lets you keep track of all the default information for the customer. Um, so that uh, when you write a ticket for that customer, you can have a different class item um, by default. So for this customer, Vivaldi automatically um, should have them um, dry cleaning. Obviously it's been changed, but uh, let's say if the customer only brings in laundry, you can click on laundry or other classes if you desire. The comments section below is plain and simple. You can have comments display for this customer um, or just to keep notes about this particular person. Um, and there is an option to not display the comment or to display the comment using the buttons um, uh, accordingly right below. The next section is um, route. So if a customer is a delivery customer and belongs to a particular route, you can select the route using the drop down button. And in fact, there's a video on, um, on delivery information in our channel. Also, there is a price level. Um, this should kind of get a little bit difficult, but it's not that not that bad. Every customer has a custom price list. Each item can have a special item price list um, of different prices attached to it. For example, a shirt could be a dollar, uh, could be a dollar, uh, could be two dollars, or could it could be three dollars. The regular price could be a dollar, but a special either two or three dollars could be assigned into it. If a customer is assigned to price level 1, the shirt could cost him $2. And if he or she is in price level 2, then it could cost him $3. This could be set up in the item management window. Um, if a customer doesn't have a price level, then it would not affect them. But um, rather, would just go to the regular price. Uh, right below is the stop number. When a truck is delivering a certain route, and this customer is just happens to be stop number 10, on the on in the route for instance you could just add 10 onto this field um, below is the starch preference um, that means that every time they bring in a laundry item 
it will automatically tell the customer the counter person that they prefer a certain type of starch um let's see over on the left is the hotel checkbox every time you select this checkbox it will ask for a, for the room and customer's name every time you write a ticket so if um, if this customer is at a days in hotel and he happens to be the manager uh, you would select this checkbox and next time you write a ticket for this customer Vivaldi will ask for the room number and the customer's name the checkbox below belongs to the host wholesale accounts wholesale accounts are used for wholesale billing and entering wholesale tickets in other words tickets belonging to another store uh, below is the loyalty program if you're using the loyalty program of Vivaldi you would click the loyalty program button and that automatically registers this customer into the loyalty program. Um, uh, this will keep track of all the tickets and bonuses uh, and bonus them with um, dollar coupons as they hit certain levels. Uh, the last button is the global account uh, change. Uh, this is used for if a customer changes their phone number and you would like Vivaldi to go in and globally change all their tickets and accounts receivable so that their account number is a different account number. Um, so if I, if I were to click this button, a smaller button should appear uh, with their current account number and you want to replace all their information, tickets, uh, tags, or whatever, um, into a new account number. Uh, the section on the right is reserved for tickets belonging to that customer it is used for searching tickets for that customer so first we would want to click display current tickets and then if we want to view that certain ticket we would just click um, highlight that ticket and then view ticket and it should give us a, a thorough description about what belongs in there display ticket history on the right uh, will display all the tickets no matter if they've been they, if they have or haven't been picked up so let's click on that. Uh, there, are, there's an entire history of all the tickets that's been done to this customer. All right. So the next tab is the billing and accounting information. The billing and account information is described in the accounts receivable video, which I'll link in the description below if you're accessing, accessing uh, this video on YouTube. This tab basically shows the billing address that will appear in their accounts receivable statement. Uh, there is a place for you to add a credit card number and expiration date where it will encrypt it and save it for automatic billing um, through X charge in the system. So when they come in, they can automatically be billed using their credit card as well as um, if they are a delivery customer. Uh, over on the right is a discount percentage field. Um, this is if you want to add a discount permanently to the customer. To access the discount account and credit card, because we see there there are no fields, you have to enter the password. All it's this is all explained on um, on the other video that I was talking about um, in the accounts receivable. Okay, so the next tab, sales information. Sales information is where you can record uh, first of all the birthday. If you want the system to play a happy birthday when they come in on their birthday. Um, it will keep track of, keep track to year to date totals. Um, so year to date for this customer is 160, which is how much they spent that year. The no, the number of total items, which is 55 for this customer. Uh, this is the total of items that the customer has brought in. Uh, their date, the date of their last transaction, which was pretty long ago. The total dollar spent. Um, since they've been using your system, uh, the date of their first time they come into the store, which is back in 2009 for this customer, um, and um, the total loyalty points. And so if they are under the lo so if they are under the loyalty program, it uh, will keep track of all their loyalty programs here, uh, loyalty points here. Over on the top is if the customer is currently active or inactive. So this is very simple. If you don't want to delete them out of your system entirely, or you know, you will simply click on the inactive button. Okay, on to the next tab. House account and tags. House account is used for if any time a customer comes in to pick up a ticket and doesn't have enough money to pay for it. 
Uh, you can transfer over the ticket to house account. It could also be used for customers that want to pay, let's say, $100 for a, an item that costs um, $10. You can simply put the change, which is the $90, in house account at their request. Uh, you can add a deposit using the button on the right that gets added onto the house account. And every time you write a ticket, Vivaldi will ask you if you want to use their house account money to pay for the ticket. Uh, the next tab is, in fact, one of my favorites. It's called Transactions. Um, now, you, now you can click on Show Transactions button on the bottom left. This shows the complete history of everything that has been done to any ticket for this customer. So every time uh, they have added a ticket, edited a ticket, deleted a ticket, changed the value of a ticket, assigned a location to the ticket, everything, it all will be stored in transactions. Uh, this is good in case you have lost a ticket and you need to find it. Um, okay, so for the last tab, which is called additional, um, this is used if you want to add additional categories for a customer. So let's say that you want to track for specific things or unique about or something unique about this customer. You will simply click on ad add additional and then um, an, an additional line should appear and you can add um, whichever information you want. And there you go. That is customer management window. To exit, simply click on the close window up here at the top left, which will lead you back to the customer search window. And now you can go ahead and add customers and make transactions. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.